June 1987 was a tumultuous month in South Korea's modern history. Protesters had been fighting police across the country, unhappy with the then military-backed government. But it was the death of Lee Han Yol, a university student, struck on the head by a tear gas canister that marked a turning point. Such was the outpouring of public anger that the government had little choice but to institute democratic reforms. On the 30th anniversary of Lee's death and the June struggle, as they are known, a series of exhibitions are being held to commemorate the events. People here say they haven't forgotten the struggle for democracy. Not too long ago, South Koreans took to the streets again. The Candlelight Revolution, as it came to be known, was, in contrast, a series of peaceful protests that stretched over several months. It eventually pushed Parliament to vote to impeach President Park Geun-hye, now on trial for corruption. And while many saw the demonstrations as proof of a strong civil society in South Korea, some say it also exposed weaknesses in its political system. We have to change the political system because the Korean system is basically old conservative party, two conservative parties dominate. Have. While the civil society has become more diverse, but politics fail to represent their interests. There's now a growing realization that the 1987 constitution may no longer be suitable. Although presidents were elected democratically, the way such presidents ruled the country remained as authoritarian as in the past. That led to the impeachment of the former president Park Geun-hye. Awareness has arisen that a new system is necessary to move forward to a more mature democracy. Among the changes proposed are clauses that would allow for decentralization of power and doing away with single five-year term limits for presidents. The call for constitutional revision has not gone unheard by politicians. Newly elected President Moon Jae-in has promised to put forward a draft for a new constitution next year. People here say it's further proof that in South Korea's hard-won democracy, the views of its people are being heard. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Seoul.